Making his first court appearance today is the contractor at the center of a News 8 investigation. Brian Curry Lowe is accused of larceny, and court documents say he was given $21,000 by an elderly woman for a paving job that was never finished. And now there are new complaints to police. We bring in Chief Investigator David Iverson with what he's uncovered about all this. David. All right, guys, today Curry Lowe faced a judge for the driveway job we told you about weeks ago. But since then, he's facing even more complaints. You got a lot of unhappy customers. Before Hot Top Paving's owner Brian Currylow saw a judge, he saw our cameras. Customer after customer after customer has come forward making complaints about Currylow and his business. But it's the Barons that brought him to court today. I trusted them. $21,000 bought Bonnie Barron this incomplete driveway. Independent contractor said a fair price would be just about $3,000. Meriden police are calling that larceny. Brian told the judge he would need more time to put his case together and left the courtroom. But since our first story aired, more complainants have come forward. Along a busy road in the town of Plymouth, a man is raking his leaves. We've agreed not to identify him or his caretaker, but they allege Brian and his employees came to their home and began digging up the driveway. Someone with hot top paving says they were given permission. The only problem, according to the police report, the only person home at the time doesn't speak English. In fact, he doesn't speak at all. Their caretaker says he is from Vietnam and suffers post-traumatic stress from the Vietnam War. He has been cared for since then, but hasn't spoken. Brian and his employees are accused of jackhammering the driveway and spray painting it and asking for $1,400 to fix it. That case is still being investigated. Curry Lowe returns to court next month. The Barons are working with the state's Department of Consumer Protection, who continues their investigation into the findings we brought to their attention. Guys. All right, David, thank you. All right, thanks so much. And if you have something you want us to look into, you can always count on the News 8 investigators to get to the bottom of that. Just call our News 8 investigators tip line. It's on your screen, 203-402-TIP-8.